Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, removing room echo in Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, I've got a clip that I recorded with a ton of room noise. Let's have a listen. All right, I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5D Mark III. This is a way that many folks will record audio and they want to fix it. And the problem is caused by the camera being about 6 to 10 feet away and we're in a reflective surface. So this is my kitchen. We've got tile floor, wood cabinets, and a hard countertop, which is making all of the uh, audio echo all over the place and it actually smears together. That's what you hear when you hear room tone and that's why it's so difficult to be able to fix that because it's not a simple reflection. It's actually a bunch of, of sound waves smearing together by the time they come from my, my mouth, hit all these surfaces and then get picked up by the microphone. So we're going to try to take this out using software and remove the rest of the room tone. All right, so as soon as you hear that, uh, I think everybody recognizes that uh, poor quality reflection in the room. And I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. One is using Adobe Audition and another is using a plugin uh, in Audition or in Premiere Pro called Unveil. Let's go have a look. So the first thing we need to do is to get this clip into Audition. So the best way to do that is we can right click on the clip, edit an Audition clip. Audition actually extracts the audio. If we go back to Premiere Pro, you can see uh, Premiere Pro extracted that and sent that over here to Audition. It's the same audio. Rolling. All right, I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5. So the first thing to do would be to uh, remove the noise. And we can't really see the noise in the waveform view, but up at the top, if we go to our spectral frequency display, you can see a lot of noise. So if we go to this section here, that's noise. And if you select it with the I-beam, that's this tool up here, that's the default tool, select all of that, right click and choose Capture Noise Print. This now tells Adobe Audition, what is noise? And if you don't have an area where you're not talking, then you can't do this. That's why it's always smart to leave the, the uh, uh, recorder running a little bit longer if you're doing it on an external device or the camera itself. And you only need a small part. Now that we told Adobe Audition what is noise, let's go remove that. So in the effects controls, noise, noise reduction, process. And we'll select the entire file right here. Click that. And now let's listen to it. Rolling. All right, I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5D off. Mark III. This is a way that many folks will record audio and they want to fix it. So it's removed some of that noise, but if you twirl down the advanced section here, you'll see something called the spectral decay rate. And if we reduce this amount from 65, which is the default amount, take it all the way down to zero, we're going to reduce the amount of, of the effect letting things go by. So it's not really a noise gate, it's, it's the noise reduction um, uh, process, but it's just clamping that a little quicker. Rolling. All right, I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5D Mark III. This is a way that many folks will record audio and they want to fix it. And the problem is caused by the camera. That's doing a pretty good job. So let's apply this. This is not an effect that can just sit there. We have to destructively apply it. So I'll click the apply button. And now you can see that the, some of that reflection is gone. I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5. But there's a few other things that we can do in Audition, and that's try to uh, find the frequencies that are the most annoying frequencies. And I'll just go back to my waveform view right now, go to my effects, and we'll choose the parametric equalizer. And by default, we get a whole bunch of bands to play with. I'm going to shut 
uh, most of these off and just work with those three. So you can turn all of them on or off uh, however you want. So the way that this works is in the center, you're not influencing, you're not adding or reducing a frequency. And each one of these points can be pushed up and pushed down. And you can use these buttons down here, these to move this up and down. So a simple way to identify a problem frequency is to increase the frequency and then change the Q value. So if we turn this to a higher level, we get more of a peak. This helps us isolate a specific frequency. When the Q value is wide, it's going to be pulling a lot of frequencies. We want to try and isolate something that's a problem. So what we'll do is we'll turn that up and then we'll sweep this back and forth while we listen to it, okay? I'm recording this with a built-in microphone on my Canon 5D Mark III. This is a way that many so folks will record audio right and they want to fix it. And the problem is caused by the camera being about 6 to 10 feet away and we're in a reflective. So I happen to know that this one is around 4129. I'm recording this with a built-in microphone on my Canon. So that helps us identify the frequency. Obviously, it made it worse, so let's reduce that amount. So instead of pushing it up, we'll take it down. I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5D Mark III. This is a way that many folks will record audio and they want to fix it. And There's a few other frequencies in here that are also a problem. Let's try to isolate those. Same thing. Turn it up. narrow Q value, and sweep. I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5D Mark III. This is a way that many folks will record audio and they want to fix it. And the problem is caused by the camera being about 6 to 10 feet away and we're in a reflective Let's surface. So that. this is my kitchen. We've got tile floor, wood cabinets, and a hard countertop. All right, so so far we found two really horrible frequencies that were caused by the reflection in the room and the tone of my voice in this recording. There's one more a little bit lower. Let's look for that. So again, let's turn this up and let's uh, keep this narrow and sweep. I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5D Mark III. This is a way that many folks will record audio and they want to fix it. Let's reduce it. And the problem is caused by the camera being about 6 to 10 feet Let's away. Turn this off. And we're in a reflective surface. So this is my kitchen. We've got tile floor, wood cabinets, and a hard countertop, which is making all of the um, audio echo all over the place and it actually smears together. That's what you hear when you hear room tone. And that all right, and then we'll click to apply this. And now we've done all right. a I'm better job. I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5D Mark III. This is and when you click Save, if we go back to Premiere Pro, it's going to save that file. So this is our audio. And the problem is caused by the camera being about 6 to 10 feet away and we're in a reflective surface. This is the original. So we're going to try to take this out using software and remove... So Audition does a pretty good job. Now there's one other tool that I want to show it to you. It's not part of Creative Cloud, but it blew me away. I've been in this industry forever. Unveil by Synaptic freaks me out. We can use this, it's a plugin that you have to buy, uh, but uh, it runs both in Audition or in Premiere Pro as a, uh, a second, uh, third party effect. So in Premiere Pro, in the Edit uh, Preferences audio, and this is in the Premiere Pro uh, menu on the Mac, at the bottom is the Audio Plugin Manager. And when you click on that, you can see I've just found where this is installed in my VST plugins. Once you install that plugin and show it to Premiere Pro, um, now when we go to our audio track mixer, and if that's not already showing, go to the window menu, audio track mixer, and twirl this down, twirl this down, and look for the VST effects. There's the unveil VST. Double click on it, and it helps reduce room noise like I've never seen before. It's 
just absolutely miraculous. Let's have a listen to this. All right, I'm recording this with the built-in microphone on my Canon 5D Mark III. This is a way that many folks will record audio and they want to fix it. And the problem is caused by the camera being about 6 to 10 feet away and we're in a reflective surface. So this is my kitchen. We've got tile floor, Bypass wood cabinets, it. and a hard countertop, which is making all of the uh, audio echo all over the place. And it actually smears together. That's what you hear when you hear room tone. And that's why it's so difficult to be... Okay, now I hope you see why I included it in, in this demonstration. Like I said, if you only have Creative Cloud and Adobe Audition, you use those two methods, you're going to do great. And by the way, shout out to Darren uh, Duran Gleaves at Adobe who helped me out with this. He's uh, uh, on the Audition team and uh, he's a brilliant engineer. But um, uh, he also mentioned Unveil, and uh, I've used different ones in the past, but when I tried this out, I mean, you heard it. The results are unfreaking believable. It's an extra third party tool, but well worth it if this is the only audio you have. All right. Uh, I want to thank everyone for the wonderful support here at Video Revealed. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to Video Revealed, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get your room tone sounding much better.